Okay, so we are looking at the unit circle. I gave you another blank template of it, but I'm not gonna make you like make the triangles around it again. We're just gonna go around, fill this out again, make sure you have one. So this first one here, we've got zero degrees or it could be 360. So I might put 360 degrees too, just so I know, is one comma zero. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to 30 degrees. And then that's square root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Square root 3 over 2, 1 half. We've got 45 degrees, which is square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2. Next comes what? 60 degrees. One half and square root 3 over 2. Next, we've got 90 degrees, which is 0, 1. We've got 120 degrees, which is negative 1 half. Square root 3 over 2. Seems very blurry, huh? That seems a little bit better. Then we've got 135 degrees. Mm -hmm. And it's negative square root 2 over 2. Square root 2 over 2. <coughs> And we've got 150 degrees. Negative square root 3 over 2, 1 half. Hundred and eighty degrees, negative one zero, I'm going to move down. Two hundred and ten degrees. Negative square root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Two hundred and twenty five degrees. Negative square root 2 over 2, negative square root 2 over 2. Two hundred and forty degrees. negative one half, negative square root three over two. Two hundred and seventy degrees, zero, negative one.
300 degrees. One half negative square root three over two. Three hundred and fifteen degrees. Square root two over two. Negative square root two over two. And 330 degrees, square root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. One half, negative 1 half. I would put those three things that I had at the bottom again where 1 half over square root 3 over 2 equals square root 3 over 3. And I'm going to move this up so you can see what I'm writing. Square root 2 over 2 divided by square root 2 over 2 is 1. And square root 3 over 2 over 1 half is square root 3. Okay, then let's look at what you guys are working on today. All right, so these first, um, how many? These first like 18 problems are really just talking about what they are, tangent, cosine, sine, and being able to list it, list it. So let's just do number one together and then we'll move to the next section and do one from there. Okay, for number one, we've got tan of z. So if we're looking at z, the opposite of z is 21. The adjacent of z is 28. And I might write these at the top, I might write Sine equals opposite over um, hypotenuse. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent equals opposite over adjacent. If you have those written down, you should be able to answer all 18 of these. Yeah. A over H, adjacent over hypotenuse. So number one is tangent, so it's opposite over adjacent. So the tan of Z is 21 over 28, which we can reduce to 3 fourths. Because 7 goes into 21 3 times and 7 goes into 28 4 times. So that's all you're doing for these first 18, is making a fraction. Okay, let's go and move to number one for the second section. This is when you're going to use your unit circle again. It wants to know the tan of 60 degrees. So we go to our unit circle at 60 degrees, and we know tangent is the y over the x. So it's going to be the square root 3 over 2 over 1 half. And we know that equals square root 3. So that's just like we've been doing before, except it has a pr pretty picture on it. I'm sorry, what? Oh, 
Oh, the circle with the line through it next to tangent, that's just theta. That's whatever degree it says. That circle with the line through it is a theta, and that's just whatever degree they're asking for. Okay, and then number 11 through 22, there's no picture, but it should be just kind of the same thing. So if we're looking for cosine of 270, the cosine is the x value, so this should be 0. Great. So you got the rest of the hour to work on this. Um, there's lots of problems, but you've got the rest of the hour and for tonight's homework to work on this. And I'm going to stop the recording and go over your homework since I didn't do that before doing it.